Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you already know what this video is because you already saw the title, but I'm so excited. I just got this in the mail today. I had a completely different video planned for today and I actually already filmed it, but I had to sit down and film this one on a whim because I really am so proud of Rob Beauty Christy. If you guys don't know, she just collaborated with ColourPop, which is the most exciting thing ever. I just got the PR box in the mail today. Look at it, it's so cute. This is the Into the Woods collection. We have so many fun things to try. I just adore Robbie DeCristi. She is such an amazing human being. I talked about this in my video where I tried out her Pure Cosmetics collaboration and I told you guys that I met her once in person and we've kind of been like in touch here and there since then and she really is such a beautiful, genuine person and so I was just so excited to see that she finally got to collaborate with ColourPop. I know it's been a huge dream of hers and she deserves it more than anybody, let's be honest. So we're gonna try out all the products that we have at Forest Sight eyeshadow palette, which is so cute. My nails match this collection. I was about to switch out my nail polish today. I'm so glad I didn't because it matches. Here's the packaging on this. I love it so much. The colors in here are like a rustic rainbow. <laughs> You have so many gorgeous earthy tones, but you literally have every single color in the rainbow plus some neutrals. So it's like an earthy rainbow, I should say, not necessarily rustic, but you know what I mean? So I'm so excited to try that out. We also have four Super Shock shadows that she created, which I'm also excited to try out. I obviously don't know if I'll be able to try all four, but I'm gonna try to use as many as I can. It just depends on the look I'm gonna do. I don't really know what I'm going for yet. There's also three cream gel liners we're gonna try out, at least one of those, and then we have two Lux glosses. I will show you more of these in depth as we go along. So let's just get started. I'm gonna take my NYX Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base and I'm going to prep the eyes. I already did my brows off camera. I used the um, Anastasia Brow Definer. So I'm first just gonna blend that out with my finger. Okay, so again, here's the inside of the palette. We're gonna start out with, I wanna use this shade right here called Old Growth. I watched her video talking about her collection that she made, and it is so incredible. She took pictures of the Pacific Northwest, which is where she lives. She lives in Washington, and literally used like a toggle tool to select the colors that became the eyeshadows in this palette. I think that's so special and so unique. I love how personal that is. I will have her video linked down below because obviously she created this collection and so if you are like me and you like to hear about the behind the scenes of makeup and like the inspiration behind collections I'll have her video linked down below if you didn't watch it you should it just makes this product or like this collection that much better when you know a backstory I'm gonna use this as my transition shade this would be a perfect way to start out any eye look with this palette I love this shade already it's so pretty okay I'm trying to figure out what I want to do I think I want to use some of the greens and blues. I've been doing a lot of purple looks lately, so I definitely wanna throw in some greens. Let's see, okay. First, I'm gonna take the shade Puffball, and I'm wanting to kind of warm up the crease a little bit. I'm also taking what's left on the brush, and I'm using it to kind of create a little definition on this outer V of the top lid. I'm actually also gonna take what's left and kind of create a little definition on this inner portion. I wanna do a little bit of a halo eye, I think, because I just think the Super Shock shadow would be really pretty in the center, so. I'm gonna add what's left and kind of apply it in this inner portion of the eye. Next, I'm gonna take this gorgeous green called Fiddlehead, and I'm gonna start to layer that up on the outer corner of the lid, and also the inner corner to kind of create that halo. Then I'm blending what's left up into the crease a little bit. That is such a beautiful mossy green color. We're gonna do the same thing to this side. Wow, I really love how that looks already. I'm gonna take a little bit of a smaller brush and I want to dip into this shade right here called Emerald City. It's such a beautiful green as well. I'm already obsessed with these colors. And honestly, I feel like I do not own a palette like this. Which, can we just think about that for a second? Like, Robbie Christie created two different eyeshadow palettes, technically three with her Pure Cosmetics collaboration that was earlier this year, and all three eyeshadow palettes are like palettes that add to my collection. I don't understand how she did that, but seriously props to her for being that creative to really be able to piece together colors that are wearable, but different than anything else that I personally had in my current makeup collection. So I think that's amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and add that same Emerald City color right over top of that mossy green. I'm just trying to create like a halo eye. This is so pretty. Okay, so now that we have that basic shape mapped out, 
I love how this looks already. We are going to apply um, a shimmer shade in the center. I'm just gonna use my finger for this actually. I'm wanting to take Evergreen, which is this gorgeous shimmer. There's only two shimmers in the palette and then there's this satin, I would call it. I don't know, it has like glitter reflects in it. So it's not as metallic as these two shades in the middle row. So anyway, I'm gonna take the shade Evergreen and I'm going to apply that to the center, basically where we don't have shadow yet. And I'm focusing that on the very middle, but I'm also taking what's left on my finger and kind of tapping it into the matte shades on the side so that there's a nice gradient into the shimmer shade in the center. And then I'm gonna take the brush we used with the mossy green color called Fiddlehead. And I'm just gonna make sure that those edges are blended and being really gentle low, not to take away the pigment. And same thing on this eye. I'm also gonna blend the edges on that eye to make sure they match. Okay, I want to apply one of the Super Shock shadows to the center of the lid and they are all so gorgeous. I don't know how I'm supposed to pick. I'm kind of leaning toward this one. It's called Like a Moss, that's such a cute name. The packaging is darling on this, by the way. Look at all the mushrooms around this. I'm leaning toward this because obviously I'm going with more of a green look. Yeah, I have to. I'm gonna try this one out. So again, if you guys wanna see like swatches, Robbie Christie made an entire video talking about this collection. She swatched the products. So I, again, would recommend watching her video. I'm just wanting to try out the products. That's honestly the best way that I can give you guys my opinion is just by trying things. So I'm gonna take that color and I'm gonna layer that right on top of that green shade we have on the center and Oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous. This is such a unique color. Look at that on my finger. It's like gold, but green. It has a little bit of a golden shift with a green base, it seems like. It's so pretty. Okay, I just feel like already this eye look is making me feel so luxurious and expensive and the fact that it's ColourPop makes it that much better. But seriously, like the eyeshadow is so beautiful. I'm just gonna quickly go back in with the first shade we went into when we started out this look. It's called Old Growth. And I'm going to make sure that the edges of the greens are blended up toward the brow the way that I want them to be. I'm wanting to take a little bit of this matte purple called Amanita, and I'm gonna just take that and kind of add a little something to the outer corner of the top lid, blending it into the green. I just felt like I wanted to try out that color as well. This wouldn't be, you know, necessary if you didn't wanna add a little pop of purple, but I just wanted to try another shade on the top lid. I'm just kind of blending that into the edge of the green. I think that's so pretty. Okay, I really can't get over this super shock shadow. It's so gorgeous. Like it doesn't do it justice. The camera doesn't pick up the dimension that it has in person. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some top lash mascara. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Lash Paradise and I'm gonna layer this up on just the top lashes for now. All right, next I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and just make sure there's not any fallout underneath the eyes. And I'm gonna kind of use it to create a soft edge along the outer portion of the eyeshadow. Okay, so I kind of want to keep this video pretty focused on the new ColourPop collection that Christy created. So I'm going to move through my complexion pretty quickly. I'll still share with you guys what I'm using, but it just won't be like a full-on complexion tutorial. So I'm going to take the NYX Bear With Me Radiant Perfecting Primer. I'm going to take that on my fingertips and apply this all over the skin. Next, I'm going to take two shades of the Pretty Fresh Foundation from ColourPop. Um, I'm mixing the shade Light 40N with the shade Fair 25W. I don't know why, it just creates the best shade for me. I do have a super close match that I tried out when they sent me the samples of this in the PR package, so I will have that um, foundation shade in the description, but I'm just gonna use a mixture of these two. And I'm first gonna blend that out with a brush, and then I'm gonna press it into the complexion with my sponge. Next, I'm gonna take my Pretty Fresh Concealer from ColourPop in the shade Fair 20N. And I'm going to apply this under the eyes and down the center of the face to brighten. And then I'm just gonna blend that out with my same sponge. I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Powder and I'm going to set the under eyes and the T-zone with this. As always, I like to take my sponge after I use powder and just press over everything to make sure all the excess powder gets picked up off the skin. Next, I'm gonna take the Milani Prep and Set and Glow Powder, which is basically like a glowy finishing powder. I'm just gonna take that on a flat brush and press that into the outer portions of the face, as well as in the center, just to kind of create that luminosity. All right, we're gonna move back to the eyes. Let's open up the cream gel liners to see which one we wanna put in the waterline. I'm so excited about all three of these. The packaging is seriously so cute on these. All right, so here are the colors. The brown one is called Woodsy. 
And then we have like this beautiful greenish blue called Spare Time, but time is spelled like the herb. That's so cute. And then we have a yellow and this is called Marigold. I definitely want to try out this green blue with the look that we have. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply this in the waterline first. I'm already in love with that in the waterline. It's so gorgeous. I'm going to dip back into Emerald City and I want to layer that right up against the lash line on this outer corner and then I'm going to put a little on the inner corner too. I'm going to create a little bit of like a halo situation on the lower lash line as well. Same thing on the other eye. I'm taking a little bit of PNW or Pacific Northwest and I'm taking that just on the outer corner of that lower lash line. Then I'm going to take a clean brush just to kind of blend and soften that a little bit but I wanted a little bit of that blue on the outer corner at least. Next I'm dipping back into Old Growth and I'm almost using this as the lower lash line transition shade just making sure that it's lightly connecting to those green and blue tones and then softly blending down into the under eye area. All right, next I'm gonna take the Super Shock Shadow in the shade Like a Moss, which is the same one that we used on the top lid. I'm gonna apply this on my pinky and then just kind of press it in the center of the lower lash line. I'm just taking a small brush and kind of blending the edges again. All right, now I'm gonna take um, that same mascara and just apply it to the lower lashes. Okay, now I'm gonna finish up the look. I'm gonna take the ColourPop Pressed Powder Bronzer in the shade Coconut Beach. I'm just gonna warm up the complexion using this. Next, I'm going to take this blush called Palladial. It's also from ColourPop. It's one of their newer blushes. I haven't used this yet, so I wanted to try it out. I'm just going to apply that on the apples of the cheeks. It's really pretty. I think it works really nicely with this palette. And then I'm going to apply the ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in the shade Flexitarian. Oh wait, no, this is Lunch Money, not Flexitarian. Those are the two that I use the most, so sometimes I get them confused. All right, now I'm going to wipe off any foundation that got on the lips. I'm going to line and fill in the lips with my NYX um, Nude Suede Shoes Lip Liner. Actually, after applying this, I feel like I want something a little more warm. So I'm gonna remove that and I'm going to apply the e.l.f. Lip Liner. It came in that set from their Paradise collection over the summer and it doesn't have a shade name on it, but it's like the brownish nude lip liner in the collection or in that set. So I'm just lining and filling in the lips with this. This has a much more like waxy finish. So I'm trying to blend it out as best as I can with my finger, but it's almost hard to blend out. Next, I'm going to take my Maybelline lipstick in the shade Truffle Tease. I'm just gonna layer this in the center of the lips. Okay, I wanted to see how this would look and now it's too late. I really do like how it looks. I'm gonna take um, West Coast in the palette and I'm gonna use this as my inner corner highlight. It's definitely a little bit more of like a bold inner corner, but I really like it actually. And I'm gonna blend it in to the green shade on that inner portion, just so that everything looks seamless. I'm gonna do the same thing on the lower lash line with what's left on the brush. All right, last but not least, Christy created the two luxe glosses. We have two shades. One is in the shade Wildflower. I love the color of the cap on this. It's so beautiful. So Wildflower is like a really nice soft pink. And then we have the shade Glacier, which is so beautiful. It has a bunch of reflex in it. I think I'm gonna use the shade Wildflower just so that it matches this look and the vibe. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and apply it in the center of the lips. You guys know, at least some of you might, maybe some of you don't know. This formula for some reason is not my favorite. I prefer the ultra glossy lips over this when it comes to ColourPop formulas. I just feel like it's kind of sticky, but I do like to layer in the center of the lips to create a little bit of dimension. So that is how I like to use the Lux glosses in general. That shade is really, really beautiful. And I think it just helps the lip liner and the lipstick melt together seamlessly. I really like how that looks. All right, I'm gonna step back and assess the situation and we're going to add more bronzer as usual. I'm gonna add a little more of that blush as well. I'm also going to quickly touch up the brows and fill in where the brows might have gotten a little bit uh, faded from applying foundation. Now I'm gonna take the 43 Beauty Glisten Up Setting Mist. I'm just gonna lock in the makeup. Oh, I forgot how much that kind of spits at you. Whoops, <laughs> I like drenched my face. Oh well, it's refreshing. I'm just gonna use my handy fan to dry that off. It might take a while. <laughs> and then once that's almost dry, I like to take my sponge and just press the makeup down one more time. Next, I'm gonna take the Believe Beauty Eyebrow Styling Gel. It's just their clear brow gel. I'm gonna use that to set the brows. 
All right, you guys, so here's the final look that I created using the ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie collection. I love how this turned out. I definitely felt like I was going to enjoy these tones. I already know I love so many of these formulas already. ColourPop is just one of the best brands out there. So yeah, I was already in love with like the tones and the vibe of this collection when I saw it first online, but it's not until you start really dipping into this eyeshadow palette that you realize how incredible it is. It's so beautiful. I only got to use like a few of the shades, so I can't wait to use this palette again. I'm not just saying that either. I felt like the colors blended so well together. It's just the perfect palette as far as being something so approachable and so wearable, yet different than anything else that I personally own. So again, I'm so excited to continue to use this. Congrats again to Christy on this palette. It's stunning. The one Super Shock shadow that I used was to die for. I can't wait to dip into the others. That eyeliner that I used in the waterline is so beautiful and I think it tied all the greens and blues that I used together so nicely. I actually really love that pop of yellow gold in the inner corner. I already have so many different ideas for what I would do next when it comes to an eye look with the other Super Shock shadows, with the other shades that I didn't use in this, with the eyeliners. I'm seriously super excited about this palette and this collection. I think the gloss was really beautiful as well. I'm excited to keep using these. Like I said, I like to use them just in the center of the lips. I don't like to put too much on because I find that it sticks together really funny on me. I don't know why this formula just has always done that, but the shades are stunning. So I am excited to use them as a lip topper in the center of my lips. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the look that I created. I would love to know if you guys ended up picking up anything from this collection. And if you did, would you like to see me use this collection more in the future? You guys know how much I love to reuse products here on my channel because, you know, we don't buy an eyeshadow palette just to use it once. So if you would like to see me reuse this, let me know in the comments down below. Again, huge congrats to Robbie D. Christie on this collection and collaboration. This is such an inspiring collection. And I'm not just saying that you guys, like I'm telling you, if you've bought anything from this collection, just wait till you get it and wait till you play with it. And you'll see what I mean. It's just that good. So I'm really happy about it and I'm really happy to use it again. That's when you know that something's good when you're wearing it, but you're excited to use it again. Again. So yeah, overall, really good makeup day, I feel like. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe, and you'll get a notification every single time I post. If you guys are interested in any of the products that I use today, I will have them linked in the description box down below. And if you're not already subscribed to Robbie D. Christie, I will have her channel down below so that you can head over there and subscribe to her channel because she's so talented and I'm sure she will definitely be doing some tutorials using her own palette. So if you end up picking this up and you're not subscribed to her already, which you should be, make sure to subscribe so that you can follow along with her tutorials. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!